understand you're experimenting with a new product. Would you care to explain yourself? Respectfully, uncles. Great things are born of experimentation and vision. You have served us well, Victor, but your new interest concerns us. This is not why we sent you to America. Yes, that's true. But I have achieved my purpose. I simply want to pay back more as a token of gratitude. Do they tell that? This new product threatens our existing business. Have you given thought to that? Yes, I have. The threat is temporary and manageable. You have acted without authority. Without order, there's chaos. Respectfully, chaos can be used to our advantage. Wait, Victor. You have a good position here. Be satisfied. And don't be impatient. They know. Uh, uh, please. Uh, I didn't say anything, man. Don't you ever go to anyone else. You come to me first. Just so you don't forget. No. Please. Ah! 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 Before we do anything, let me just figure this out. She wants you to ask her, but she says she doesn't want to marry you. She sounds incredibly neurotic. I say dump her. Let's go! Can you hear a cellular phone? That must be Dad's. Did your father ask you to bring the phone? No, it's for emergencies. What kind of emergencies are we talking about? Your girlfriend? No. Hmm. <laughs> you think Josh will be ready for this next year? Ah, uh, okay. So listen, do you want to recall the last 300 or you want to? I think it's time to get our rocks off, Twinkle Toes. and I want to spend some time with him. Yeah. 
What are you talking about? Don't tell me we're gonna spend the weekend together and then bring this. It's not fair. Hey, Mom, check this out. Yeah. Yeah. No, baby, I, you know, I had no... I still love you. Now make the call. He told me he wasn't gonna call. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bob. It's me, it's Grubbin. Oh, come on. We just got here. What's wrong? Practice. Practice. Oh, no, but... Practice that. Okay. Seattle. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Hey. Well, Mike, fuck them. looks like you got yeah, my husband for another them. weekend. Yeah. Six months. This is the first weekend in six months that I've been with my family. He loves you guys very much. He's been looking forward to this weekend for a long time. I know. Give him a break now. Talk to me about it when you get married. Me? Get married? <laughs> Don't hold your breath, okay? I won't. Oh. How many guys? Yeah. Now he's right here. Okay. Two and a half hours, we gotta go to Seattle. This is bullshit. I just want you to know this is bullshit. Yeah, fuck you too. sick of me? No, but if you move up, we all move up. Yeah. Besides, you gotta start thinking of your family. That's true. Hey, guys. Hey, John, how you doing? Uh, we got a new development, guys. Um, don't worry, your operation's still a go, at least as of the moment. I don't have all the specifics yet, but our sources tell us Tang's gonna be there in person. There must be a lot of product. Who's the other player? We're still working on the other player. How much prep time we got? Not enough. I got the layout in the van. You can go over it on the way. Bodies? There'll be 10 of you in the first team. It's a pretty contained area, so we gotta make sure we don't blow your cover. Which means I'll be off site with backup. Don't worry, if things start to go sideways, we got your back, all right? Okay, this is where the meet's gonna happen. We got shooters up top, here, 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 and here. We're coming in on the ground. Now, if the product is not on site, we do not go in. Remember that. We don't eyeball this shit, we sit tight. Okay, there's a chance we don't even go in on this. Remember, keep channel two open for the shooters. That's it. They ruined our weekend for a fucking maybe. ladies.
So, what exactly do you want me to do? Well, I think of it more as what we can do for each other, Uncle. My suppliers are already in place. Respectfully, suppliers have all private. Looking at the future. Nothing abstract about the concept, new product, new markets, new suppliers. But the demand is untested. Make no mistake. We designed it for addiction. No side effects like the old product. And look at the pharmaceutical companies. We simply eliminate the middleman. Showtime, partner. How you boys doing out there? Alpha team moving into position. Bravo team in position. And you produce it yourself? Hmm? Where? <laughs> what kind of quantities can you handle? No limit. Position number one. Yeah, send Wilson in. Over. Roger. Send him in. There are risks. Take risk crossing the street. I think more about the rewards. Well, hey, John. I'm in position outside ship three. Well, look, I have a good position. I have no desire to upset the status quo, you know. You call a life on your knees a good position? What the fuck was that? Come on, somebody talk to me, Captain. We have bikers on the scene. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I don't remember reading this in the program. Change. Has many enemies, Victor. You and I both know. Change is the only constant in life. There are no shortcuts, Victor. I can't help you. One agent down and Tang is dead. Okay, Mike. I'm at number one. I'm coming to you. I have 
follow a suspect heading eastbound. <laughs> Ahead in East, John. Yeah, Mike. I'm in the tunnel approaching Shed 5. They're between us. There's no way out. We've got them. <laughs> down. It's Wilson. Okay, I'm entering machine shop. Machine shop is clear. I'm on my way to you. Okay, I'm going in. John, this is Mike. You gotta get out the building. Back off. You gotta get off of Mike. Do you copy? John. John. John's a little tied up right now. I take a message. Move.
聽我殺咗啊！邊個殺嘅 ？Victor Chow。Hey, I don't know what happened, but we were right there, and now we got five dead cops. Checked all the federal records on the boat description. Zilch on ID, Zilch on ownership, Zilch on name. Two years of scraping down back alleys, and this is all we got. You tell me. How are we doing on background? Yeah, we know this guy. He runs a little protection racket. Got a file on this guy? Yep. We picked him up three years ago. Assault charge. The guy wouldn't testify. He walked. No drugs? No. Any connections with Hong Kong? Not that we know of. Then why kill Tang? I guess he wanted to expand. Look at this. Guy's a Stanford graduate. Biochemistry, philosophy. Mr. Big Brain. Get his picture out there and find this prick. Let's get this shit down to the lab, see what it is. See you back down. Ryan, I want you to... Ryan. Let's get you on a plane and get you home. You can't leave me out of this one, Captain. Michael. I know this is tough, but you gotta let it go. You've done your job, you're going home. Now there's gonna be a full investigation into this entire operation. My advice is go home and get on with your life. I'd like you to be a pallbearer. I've got uh, John's father coming in. There's so many arrangements to make, and I don't even have the ticket for him yet. It's going to be a non-denominational funeral because, uh, well, John sort of made up his own religion as he went along, so, uh, and he didn't believe in funerals. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Good boy, Josh. He always said, just throw him a big party. So that's what I'm going to do. Throw him a big party. Victor在美國 
All right, let's speed up production 24 hours a day. We need 500 keys in two weeks. Don't make any mistakes, you understand? Bartender, give me a beer. Wait a minute. Give me one of those. Hi, my name is Mike Ryan. Nay maho. Nay homa. Okay. I'm looking for an asshole by the name of Victor Chow. Seen him around? There's not, huh? Give me some change in that, huh? No, um, Mike. You don't look like you're really fitting in around here. You see, I'm trying to penetrate the Chinese underworld. Really? Maybe I can help you. Great. Who are you looking for? A guy by the name of Victor Chow. Singer. I want to die home. Thank you. Good luck. who you're looking for? Not quite, but I'm getting warmer. Well, these guys have a lot of friends. You might want to move on out of here. Hey, 
Thanks for the advice. You should be careful who you look for down here. People don't like attention. So you know those guys back there in the alley? Small timers who do enforcement contracts. Friends of yours? <laughs> this is Chinatown. Everybody knows everybody. So you know Victor Chow? You a cop, Mike? Does it matter? Why are you looking for him? It's a long story. Ooh, I like long stories. Not me. Jade, can I uh, ask you a few questions? No, I don't think so. Well, can I at least walk you home? You just did. Good night, Mike. I'd like to talk with Victor Chow. Oh, I think you'll want to speak with me. Tell him it's Jade. Why don't you to wrap this up real quick? It's the last of it. Daryl. Uh, hello. Look, the union says you gotta rest them 10 minutes every hour. That's amusing. Like we got a way to make you more money than this. You know, that sounds very tempting, but uh, I can't help you, man. I'm maxed out. You're maxed out. Maxed out. What is it? Well, you know, uh, I got a big deal with the Italians. And the Koreans. Oh, smart guy. That's right. I'm the Koreans. And the Russians. Hey, well, you know how it is. Fucking guy. You're making us Americans feel left out, Cordero. Look, ciao. I'm just trying to make a living, okay? So why don't you come back if you have something more substantial to offer? Excuse me. <laughs> this thing out of proportion. Don't you think it's a little late for that? Hey! 
Happy birthday, Cordero. Sorry I couldn't wrap it. What the hell is this? Hey, come on, now, now. Come on, not open the door. Come on, put the door in What are you doing here, Ryan? Sightseeing. You want me to arrest you? On what charge? Carrying a concealed weapon, resisting arrest, general annoyance. It's bullshit and you know it. It's too personal, Mike. The Cho is a local problem, and I'm fully capable of dealing with it. Detective Fong will take you to the airport, and I suggest you get on that plane and go home. Quite finished? Come back is good. Get the hell out of here. Come on, let's go. Why don't you do yourself a favor and let me help you on this? What are you going to tell me that I don't already know, Mike? Tang was the number one heroin dealer on the coast. A chow wanted his place in line, so he took him out. Your partner is dead, Mike. Hey, hey, easy, easy. Do you really believe the chow is interested in heroin? Take a look at your crime scene. Along with those bad guys, he just torched 200 keys of product. Come on, let's go, Mike. Come on. How long do you need? Give me 20 minutes. Make it 10. George, my uncle always told me. A superior man must be patient. But you only have two problems. I never liked him, and I never listened to him. Yeah. Take him now. Right there. What's up? We just got a tip on the lab operation. That might be Charles. Price is on his way. 
He says you're on if you want. Chow and three Asian guys went in while I was waiting, and uh, Cutler's watching the back entrance. Backup's on the way? Yeah. We'll go join up with Cutler. What if they get spooked? Ryan, we wait. Backup will be here in a few minutes. We can't wait. What if we lose him? Bobby, you stay out here and wait for backup. We go check it out. Clark of the DEA. Bobby. 
So what happened? What happened? I saw Jim's car parked outside. I go inside looking for him, and that's when your fucking DAA guy comes out and he starts blasting all over the place. I return fire and he bolts. That's when I found Fong and Cutler. They were both dead. Do whatever you think you should do. You don't get along with people very well, do you? Chow's a dangerous man. Why are you after him? It's personal. You don't want to tell me? I said it's personal. Private. Ouch. He's grown very powerful. A lot of people here are afraid. Are you? <laughs> eh, they come, they go. Doesn't affect me. What are you going to do when you find him? That's up to jail. You try and settle some gambling debts? No, he murdered my partner. He just happened to be my best friend. So you are a cop? Kinda. DEA. I'm sorry about your partner. I'm having a hard time figuring out who my friends are down here. I'd really like to help you, Mike. But I can't. Maybe you can. Does this mean anything to you? Yeah, it's Chow's seal. If you see it on a business, it means they pay for his protection. So how would they feel if he didn't do his job? He'd lose face. I'm done. Thanks. Well, I guess I should be going. You want to stay here? That would be great. Hi guys, I'm uh, looking for a little mahjong action. I'll try upstairs. Victor Chow. I understand he provides protection for this little establishment. I want you to give him a message. Ah! 
Tell him Mike Ryan says, Nehoma. <laughs> Say what? Yeah. Tell him I'd love to dance. <laughs> no, fuck. Where are you? I'm not quite sure. Ah, let me guess. Standing on a street corner, surrounded by Asians, trying to cover your light skin and fair hair. You must be in trouble. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Across the street. There's a restaurant. It's called Ho-Ho's. Ring a bell? Yeah. I'll be there in about ten minutes. Keep a low profile. Chow has a lot of influence in that area. Are you sure you want to do this? Not at all. I saw you on the news. It was a setup. I was defending myself. Go to your place, huh? What do you mean you were set up? You know, it just all seemed too easy from the very beginning. Farm was good, you know, he really worked this well. He would have known that he was in league with Chow. Then I turned around and that other cop was firing at me. Once we got there, everything changed. Jesus! Jack! Tell me what's going on. What do you mean? Uh, I come and help you. I get shot at. I think my life is in a little bit of danger. I need a light. Who the hell are the guys in the car, Jade? I don't know. Mr. Chow has some powerful enemies. Maybe they're just fighting back. What is it with you? Why don't you just walk away? Have you ever been pushed so far that you have no choice? I can't just walk away. When my partner was killed, he left behind a wife and a son. And 
was my fault. I can't go on with this thing hanging over my head. I've got to take care of it. Captain Kirk. Shit happens. Just figured you're a big enough girl to take care of yourself, Chan. Maybe you just need more practice. He's there, isn't he? Waste him. I said, I I've heard that somewhere before. Tell me where he is. We'll send someone. Oh, yeah, he scares me. But you scare me more, Jade. Back to business first, tomorrow night. Then we get back to pleasure. Pinto. Doesn't matter. A girlfriend of mine knows a girl who services him regularly. Men are such creatures of habit. So you're telling me you know where he is? Are you gonna kill him? Why do you care? I can deliver you into the fire. But will the flames cleanse you or consume you? It's a risk I have to take.
Hello, Victor. Got a great house. You can just take the gun out. Nice and easy. Just a little late. Where's the rest of your game? I'm a selfish man, Victor. I want all of your attention. I'm into one night stands. I don't have that much attention to give. I used to follow the same path. But you changed everything. <laughs> you got cop blood, Mike. You guys are all the same. You want to be big and bad like us, but you guys are just fucking wimps. You can't shoot me. You got to buy it by the code. You got to take me. You're under arrest, Victor Chow. For the murder of DEA agent John Grogan. Not to just shoot him, Mike. Go on, kill him. Now's your chance. You can say he was shot resisting arrest. What are you doing? Bad guy, you late, you man. No, Jade. More high ging chat and high sat sal. I don't want to do this, Mike, but I don't have any choice. You got to kill him for me, Mike. Then it will be over. We can just walk out of here. You think she's so pure? You think she sells flowers on the street? She's an assassin. Shut up! You're unredeemable, Chow. I am say hun go too low.
right. I believe we have a common enemy. Charles' tactics are good. Began by seizing something your opponent holds dear. Then he would be amenable to your will. He has the advantage. Do you know how you will counter? No. He uses a girl to bring you to anger and recklessness and ultimately destruction. You must forget her until the battle is won. You have no misconceptions, Mr. Ryan. She was raised to do an unpleasant but necessary job. Victor is producing a synthetic drug that will bring chaos to your streets. It is in both of our interests to see that his operation is destroyed by you. And what makes you think that I'll work with you? Two men can be enemies. Yet, if they were crossing a river in the same boat and caught by a storm, they would come to each other's assistance. Just like the left hand helps the right. And when they get to the other side? They once again are enemies. As long as that is clearly understood. I'll be waiting in the car, Mr. Ryan.
put her down. You have to wait your turn, man. I said put her down. Okay. Your turn, Mike! Come on! Play! What the hell did he do to you? Get the bastard. How's the music, Mike? Come on down! Got something for you. You're not a killer, you're a cop. How do you think you got here? That makes you one of us, Mike.
Handle this? Yeah. Are you ready? You bet. Let's do it. 